We're using 2.8 alpha 2. This can be done using 2.79. The UI hasn't changed that much, even though the whole community is going through culture shock at the moment. Which isn't a big deal. Uh, we're just going to try showing a trick. We're going to be using simple tools to make this method easier. Essentially, what we're going to do is to rotate the faces on any given mesh, so long as it's quads by 45 degrees. It's a lot easier than it sounds, and it should be fun. So let's get started. Now, to give you an accurate example of what we're doing, we'll uh, simplify the method in as basic a form as possible, which is a simple plane. I'll subdivide it. This is just to illustrate the, the point of what we're doing. So every quad that we're selecting in any mesh is going to be rotated by 45 degrees. There are hotkeys for all of these, but we're just going to take the long route and start by selecting using the old school box select faces, coke, which will uh, divide every quad into four triangles or trigons if you want to call them that. Afterwards, grab the middle vertices, select, select similar, and pick the second to last option. Amount of connecting edges connects all of the vertices that have the same amount of connecting vertices. As convoluted as that sounds, we'll follow it up by inversing our selection in the Select Invert menu. That'll leave us with the original edges. And then head to Mesh, Delete, and Dissolve the Edges. There's the final result. Doesn't look like much, but when applied to a larger mesh, it'll carry a bit more weight. Not in any relevant manner, but could be useful with materials. In the texturing process, UV mapping to be specific, some geometry. So now let's take it to a bigger playground. Basic geometries, we'll start with the cylinder. Hotkeys now to speed the process up, condense the mesh. Here's some music, because segues are weird. We have the stars Girl, we're so far away But one day the world will be ours Duplicated the mesh and removed doubles and removed that one horizontal edge loop And that created a nice leverage of space to work with Noticeably a spiral Bota a menina que sente a batida Que vem do balanço que tem a magia do samba that quick thing. Anyhow, the rest of the video consists of fooling around with this method, in which case I'll speed it up. Thanks for watching.